Hi, I'm Terry and I'm Nuts About Stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to feature the Going Places suite of products to make a really cute Father's Day card idea. Now, keep in mind that all of these products, except for the cardstock, of course, is going to be retiring on May 31st, 2016. So this is your last chance to get some of these before they're gone forever. I love this suite, which is why I decided to feature it this week. All right, so I'm going to start off by using my Big Shot to do a couple of things. The first is I want to take a piece of basic black cardstock. I want to tuck it inside the World Traveler embossing folder, and I want to emboss this as a layer for the front of my card. Hang on, just let me get this inside. So I've got my uh, basic platform on tab two. I've got my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put my embossing folder with the cardstock inside. Top standard cutting pad. Bring this a bit closer to me. And then run it through. And that will emboss the world on this piece of cardstock. I think this is an amazing embossing folder. It's also retiring, so you don't want to miss that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get set up and I'm going to do some die cutting with my magnetic platform. So I have a piece of scrap Sahara sand cardstock and I'm going to use the Going Global stamp set and this world image. I've already got that mounted onto a clear block and I am going to stamp it in Sahara sand ink. No, I'm not. I'm going to stamp it with basic black ink. And I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of Sahara sand scrap cardstock. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to bring in um, my Big Shot magnetic platform, bottom standard cutting pad. I've got the Sahara Sand cardstock, and then I'm going to die cut that world out using one of my Circles Collections framelits. I'm going to slide that this way because then the next thing I want to do is take a piece of scrap basic black cardstock and I want to die cut a circle that's just one little bit larger than the circle that's surrounding the globe image. Okay, and then I'm going to lay on my top standard cutting pad and die cut both of those circles out in one go. So there's my world image and there's my layer. And I'll just tuck these out of the way for now. And I'm going to adhere with my snail adhesive these two layers together, like so. All right, and now I'm going to start to set up my card. So I have a piece of Sahara Sand cardstock that's cut eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it on the four and a quarter mark and used my bone folder to make that a nice crisp image. And then to the top of this uh, card, I'm going to adhere the embossed world. Okay. And to the bottom, I have a leftover piece of Going, uh, going Places designer series paper. Let me bring in this. Mine is well loved. I love the patterns in this paper. It's great if you are a traveler and you do scrapbooking or you do project life, but it's also great for cards. So I'm going to adhere a strip of this. All the measurements for these pieces will be over on my blog. So after the video is over, you can hop on over there. And there's also an ordering button. If you decide that you really would like to get these products, then you can order them from me over there. All right, and then I am going to adhere 
I would like to use a Stampin' Dimensional. I don't see any here. So for now, I will, I'll probably pull this off after the video is over. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of snail to put this on the front, like so. And then I have a strip of cardstock that is Sahara Sand, and I want to put a phrase on it, and I'm gonna use the phrase that says, World's Best Dad. And I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp it like so. And then I have brought in my uh, triple banner punch and I'm going to make this into a little banner like so. And then I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and I'm going to trim this off like so because I want my banner to sit like that on my card. So then I'm going to adhere that. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the basic metals buttons. I went ahead and got it all set up before the video began. So I have one of the basic metal buttons and then I put some of the basic black baker's twine through it and tied it into a little knot. And I think what I'll do is I will add it, let's see, where will I add it? I think I'll add it right there, and I'm going to use one of my mini glue dots to help me attach it. So I'm just going to press the button right onto the mini glue dot, pull it off, and then it's ready to adhere to my card to complete it. And there we go, a very quick and easy and cute Father's Day card for somebody special in your life. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for the cardstock, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. I'm Terry, I'm Nuts About Stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.